Hi, my name is Gairat Rahimov uh, from AndroidSmile.com. In this tutorial, I will show how to use Twitter OS in order to sign in and get user timeline. So first of all, we should uh, create a project called Lab Twitter OS. So after that, uh, we open AndroidManifest.xml. Uh, so we open it, and before tag. Uh, application we add a uh, permission uh, to use internet connection so uses permission internet so I've added uh, permission and the next step is to add uh, to uh, library de dependencies in our build credo file uh, so let's copy it open gradle scripts and build gradle uh, module app so in, inside dependencies, so we add to uh, library dependencies. After that, we click Sync Now. So I've added two uh, library dependencies. First one is Android Async HTTP. Uh, this library is used uh, to load data from network. Uh, next one is uh, JSON. Uh, this library is used to parse JSON, JSON uh, into Java objects. Uh, next step to create a class called OS result. So you can copy this code uh, from AndroidSmile.com. I will leave a uh, URL in this in description. So I have create new Java class. I will call this OS result. Click OK. And after that, I will copy that piece of code. I will delete package because I have a package here. Here I have some parameters, uh, OS token, OS token secret, user ID, screen name, and XOS expires. What we will need, uh, actually we need uh, OS token, OS token secret, and screen name. So we've created. Uh, next step to copy code to uh, main activity. So let's copy this code into main activity. Let's import this alt enter. So here I choose a header. Uh, CZ uh, MS Zebra Zebra Android HTTP client. So now I've copied code. So uh, let me explain. So what's this? What is this? So uh, first line uh, Twitter sign in. This URL we will use in order to sign in. Next URL is to get user timeline. Uh, here our application starts on create method. Uh, on this method, when we start, we call method sign in. Uh, this method opens a uh, dialog. This dialog. So we create web view. Uh, we add this web view into dialog. Uh, after that, uh, we enable a JavaScript in our web view. And after enabling JavaScript, we load uh, URL Twitter sign in. Uh, so this URL. So uh, after that, uh, what I'm doing, uh, I'm setting web view client. When this URL will be called, I will try to get uh, HTML. In our case, uh, we will try to get JSON from web view. So uh, we will get content from web view. So uh, for that purpose, I'm adding a new JavaScript interface. Uh, I'm calling it JSON viewer. So here I'm calling uh, th this uh, JSON viewer. It's matted on JSON receive it. Uh, after that, I'm making this dialog cancelable if user uh, clicks back button or other place uh, around the dialog. So it won't be closed. After that, I'm showing this dialog. When uh, WebView loads URL which contains callback PHP, so this method will be called on json received so we will receive json we create a new object of json class and after that we will parse all the result from json
After that, we will call method get tweets. We will uh, send get host token, get host token secret, and screen name. So after that, we will try to get tweets. Now we will create new async HTTP client to load data from this URL. We send params, and if it's successful, we will get JSON of user timeline. So all tweets of user. And after that, uh, we will show this uh, JSON in Toast. So let's uh, let's try. I select emulator. Click OK. Now application started. It opens uh, dialog with Twitter sign-in form. Here we enter uh, username and password. Now we click sign in. Now it redirected, so we received JSON, so we showed in Toast. And that's it. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will show how to change backend and put your own server.